Hawaii is beautiful. It's the home of Waikiki Beach, Maui, and Volcanoes National Park, an unparalleled paradise surrounded by warm Pacific waters. But who is it that Hawaii is a paradise for? Massive earthquake off the west coast triggering a tsunami warning for Hawaii. Spewing lava more than 100 feet into the air, rivers of molten red carving across the earth. Doubt there's a homeless problem. More like homeless than ever, ever before. So to the problem that it is happening out here in a Hawaiian island. The state's chief economist says Hawaii's population has decreased for the past seven years. Hawaii's economy is moving at a slower rate than the continent. This was Hawaii's population back in 2010, and this is the state's population today. Essentially the same stagnant population figure for more than 13 years. Despite Hawaii consistently topping lists for being the place where Americans want to visit the most. Now sure, it isn't just Hawaii. We've known that people are leaving places like California for places like Texas and Florida for years. But what's happening in Hawaii is different, and California actually added more than 2 million residents in those 13 years. And in the past five years, from 2017 to 2022, California's economy grew by 2.9% while the Hawaiian economy declined. All while poverty in Hawaii has increased by nearly 50% over just the past five years, with wage growth staying slow and productivity doing the opposite. So I think it's clear that something problematic is happening in Hawaii. And I would argue that it's the state's greatest asset, its unique geography, behind its decline. That's in part because the logistics of Hawaii are outright awful, with the state being located 2,400 miles off the coast of the continental U.S., making it difficult to even reach Hawaii. But significantly more difficult to travel are its various islands on the whole, as the ocean around the Hawaiian Islands is too deep for any system of interconnected bridges, making travel between even the biggest Hawaiian Islands dependent on boats and planes. That isn't an ideal situation for the everyday life of Hawaiian residents, not when a one-way flight from one island to another typically costs about $100, but it's a lot more than just that. There's a severe shortage of teachers across all the Hawaiian islands, especially in smaller towns like Kona. Hawaii's public funds are depleted. The state's infrastructure, which suffers from harsh weather that changes often, is crumbling, with the Honolulu Civil Beat reporting that it would cost $88 billion to fix the state's retirement and infrastructure systems more than Hawaii's entire gross state product last year. And that's to say nothing of the impossible expense of everyday life there, where a dozen eggs costs $9, a gallon of milk costs $9, and broccoli and carrots are about $4 a pound each. Oh, and the median rent for an 800-square-foot apartment in Oahu, the most populated Hawaiian island, exceeded $2,500 per month last month. See, the Hawaiian archipelago, which is made of 137 separate islands stretching across 1,500 miles of the central Pacific Ocean and formed by seafloor volcanic activity millions of years ago, is as difficult for passage as it is for environmental concerns. So it's no wonder that life on this string of remote volcanic islands, surrounded by thousands of miles of ocean and isolated from the rest of the world, isn't perfect. There are hurricanes, tsunamis, flash flooding, earthquakes, and dangerous wildfires such as the one that recently and tragically spread across Maui. I should pause for a moment to say that I realize that as a small creator, my impact is limited, but I will be donating a portion of the revenue from this video to Hawaiian relief efforts through the YouTube giving program because I believe that many small gestures can have a significant impact. But natural disasters and climate change aren't the only problems that have come out of Hawaii's geography. They are just part of how the state's geography is what's causing its many issues. That's to say, Hawaii's economic strain, its deep dependence on tourism, and its cost of living crisis all come from its beautiful geography. Let me explain. This is a breakdown of Hawaii's industrial output by sector in 2022. This chart looks at the state's median income in that same year. This chart looks at how the median home price there has changed since just 2015, making it clear that Hawaii is trending in a concerning direction. Sure, there are other expensive cities and states with a working class stuck in the low-pay, low-benefit tourism industry. However, they don't often suffer the same logistical complications, and few places rely on tourism the way Hawaii does. Just look at how residential perception of Hawaiian tourism has changed, tanking significantly in recent years. I will explain why that is, how tourism benefits off Hawaii's geography, but doesn't much benefit everyday Hawaiians. 
But a hundred years ago, Hawaii wasn't a tourist destination at all. No, it was an agricultural state focused on expanding its sugarcane production. In fact, you could argue that the first American business interests in Hawaii, looking to build a Hawaiian sugar empire, are what pushed U.S. politicians into the business of occupying and annexing the state in the first place. Of course, Hawaii wasn't a state a hundred years ago. No, it didn't join the Union as the 50th U.S. state until 1959. But it was an interest of America ever since Christian missionaries visited Oahu back in 1820. Specifically, Hawaii's farm-friendly climate, rich soil, and strategic location in the Pacific has enamored American businesses and leadership for more than 200 years now. It took a long road of unifications, coups, tariffs, and full annexation back in 1898 to get there, but Hawaii became a U.S. state 64 years ago, and it was the state's geography that made it possible. However, it's what happened since Hawaii officially joined the Union that's had the biggest impact on its current troubles though. And that too, you guessed it, is because of Hawaii's incredible geography. Earlier I had mentioned that Hawaii is made up of 137 different islands, but you will only find about 8 of them on a standard map. Only 7 of those 8 have inhabitants, and while Niihau is inhabited, it's also privately owned with limited public access. So there are only 6 Hawaiian islands with more general populations. In order of population, the Big Island, Oahu, Maui, Kauai, Molokai, with just 7,000 residents, and Lanai, with 3,102. Meaning that about 98% of Hawaii's residents live on the Big Island, Oahu, or Maui. Those three islands are also the key to Hawaii's entire tourism industry, an industry that has attached itself to Hawaii only to benefit from the archipelago's wondrous geography. The five biggest non-governmental employers in Hawaii are Obayashi, a corporate construction contractor, Idol, a corporate consulting firm, Hawaiian Airlines, Matson, a port systems company, and Kiyoya Hotels and Resorts. You could argue that every single one of those companies are at least travel and tourism industry adjacent, and the Hilton Hawaiian Village on Waikiki Beach is the state's biggest hotel property, while its Disney Resort, Waldorf Astoria, Ritz-Carlton, and Four Seasons are the second through fifth. In all, direct tourism accounts for 21% of Hawaii's economy, but many of its other industries also revolve around and depend on tourism as well. With more than 21% of Hawaii's residents working in tourism last year, and tourism made up 36.5% of employment for Hawaiian natives in 2019, the last year I could find relevant data on the matter. Again, Hawaii isn't the only place in America to have an unhealthy dependence on its tourism sector, but when you look at a place like Las Vegas, at least there are real secondary industries that can provide some fiscal diversity, and that isn't so much the case with Hawaii. So it's tourism, natural disasters, climate change, population stagnation, and more. But it all comes down to Hawaii having a geography problem. One that has allowed Hawaii, one of the most beautiful places on Earth, to be a paradise for the select few. But for everyone else, it's something entirely different.